Just wanted to make a quick video. I did a dishwasher update with the codes on my previous dishwasher and found out that it was basically done for. So we went upgraded to a Bosch 800 series and this thing is absolutely amazing. Your middle rack has full tines that fold down for if you have bigger bowls or something to put up here. I'm still kind of figuring out the exact layout of this, but these all fold down here. It actually had two of these. I took one out just so I have some additional space so that it actually comes right out. The entire rack, and I'm going to have to use my phone here, is adjustable up and down. these side pieces it is kind of a two-handed operation that's really about the only downfall as far as adjusting it so it's hard to do holding the phone do I hit a level no I'm just gonna go ahead and put both sides down going <clears throat> down is much easier than up we have the top rack here, and this we actually use a lot more than I thought we were going to. Uh, that was one of the first concerns that I had about this, was the top rack. Really didn't think we were going to use it, uh, but we do. Every single day, actually. Folds down to be able to have it at a different angle or fit some larger items in here. But typically, I'll show you what we end up using it for. Items like knives that you don't want to have beating against each other and, and the blades hitting and going dull. It fits right here. And it even has this little little knife blade holder, which is awesome. Um, you can actually fold this up and down, depending on your needs. But I haven't really noticed a need for that. Uh, but overall, the you know, top rack comes very convenient for some of the smaller items that would typically get lost in the machine. And again, like I said, perfect for things like steak knives that typically, you traditionally, you really don't want to have go in a dishwasher. <clears throat> now on the bottom, you have the little doors that pop on. If you have items that would, you'd be afraid of popping out. Down inside here, that's where the filter is. I typically rinse that out. It's on average about once every other week. We run this thing every single day, so absolutely amazing. Um, this does have the crystal dry feature in it, which they advertise as being awesome for, like on plastics, and that I can confirm that it is. This thing is so quiet that really about the only way that you know that it's running, right about here, it shines a little red light onto the floor. Um, so it's absolutely whisper quiet. Don't hear it outside of the kitchen. I mean, I, I basically had to come in and put my ear, you know, right, right around, put my head right around here to be able to hear it running, which is awesome. So I just loaded the dishwasher. Just wanted to point out a couple things. First, this is where your rinse aid goes. It'll actually let you know when it's running low. The dishwasher itself came with a little bag, like a little trial run of a rinse aid. So I've actually already run it enough that I ran through the trial. But that just goes right into here. And then you have your soap dispenser. We use the Cascade pods, shove that in here, close the door, and it's locked. And I'm going to go ahead and reset this because it shouldn't be on rinse. Got Probably got bumped by the kids, of course. So I'm going to go to Auto. I'm going to turn on Crystal Dry. Um, pretty much so far, I've only used the Auto Normal and the Speed 60. I don't really use this to rinse. If I'm going to rinse it, I'm going to put it right in the sink. But uh, I always use the Crystal Dry. The only time you don't get to use Crystal crystal Dry is when you do the Speed 60 setting. And this tells you how long it's going to run for. I have used the Delay settings before. Um, I've actually set it up to where the dishwasher's uh, you know, waited to start. And you can actually do it up to 24 hours on that. I don't know why you would push it out that far, but... Um, I can say that I have bumped it back a little bit, knowing that maybe uh, morning showers weren't done. So I'd set the delay for an hour for you know, make sure that we still have hot water or something like that. So that's what that is for. And then basically from here, 
just gonna go ahead and first piece of my garbage you guys don't need to see that and then uh yeah just basically hit start close it up see the red light on the ground and it's filling with water already really the loudest part is the water going in the drain which is amazing so i'll go ahead and uh pause the video here for a little bit i'll come back while it's running mid-cycle so you can hear the sound mid-cycle but so far we absolutely love it so it's been a been a great purchase all right i'm gonna come in real close to the dishwasher it's running right now in the cycle bear with me while i zoom right in but you should be able to hopefully hear Again, very quiet while it's running mid-cycle. Um, the only other thing I want to point out during the installation, really about the only thing that was tough with this, is our previous dishwasher was hardwired. This dishwasher does not have a direct hardwire option. I had to actually purchase a, a separate accessory kit to be able to basically convert it from a hardwire connection to the actual cord that they use. The other option would have been to basically put in a plug, but I don't have anywhere to put in the plug behind there. So they give you a little junction box to run your hardware connection to, and then from there, the cord that's a proprietary cord to plug in the back. It's really about the only downside to this. Otherwise, the installation was pretty straightforward and easy, and so far it's been an awesome dishwasher.